The Face. Mask Revelation July 1, 724. The Presidential Mask Stratagem. Discernment in the Apocalypse. And Origin of Evil. By Christine Preston with Ascended Twin Flame Andre. I would like to sound an alert. The people are being ensnared by the devil, and more exactly by what we will discover is a mask stratagem used before and after the presidential debate. We will see that what will be explained here solves the riddle, that is presently the subject of many videos following the presidential debate. I am sending out the alert so experts take the evidence into account, because a greater fraud could be on the horizon. Much more is at stake than the loss of a chance of a restoration of America, of making it great again, with a positive effect upon the world, that is only possible if former President Trump is reinstated to the presidential office. Much more is in the sense of the original divine plan for the earth, as well as the conditions of our physical bodies, or spectrum of our consciousness in physical incarnation. Not many people know that our spiritual life, and even the project of ascension, will be at stake, if the wrong timeline is created, and because dark powers have an agenda of transhumanism for control. There is a divine plan for the timelines upon which we progress, and at the same time both the forces of good and evil in incarnation have free will. The etymology of the term apocalypse is from the Greek apocalyptane that translates as revelation. We are in a time of disclosure or revelation, and the idea that it is one of tribulation, or trouble, can be traced to a misinterpretation in connection with the book of Revelation. The latter is not about an end of the world, but the way in which evil is finally defeated. Furthermore, the notion of an end of time is the result of the removal of astrological concepts from Christianity. The end of days is in reference to the end of the age of Pisces. I would like to let the audience know that during the night of June 30th, Archangel Michael told me again that there will not be any nuclear war. You have to understand that the attacks upon the former president have been allowed so that the evil present among us, as well as its deceptions, can be exposed. It's called the awakening because mankind has been asleep. And now, central to my alert is the following subject and what needs to be exposed. I was amazed at the revelation in a video with the title Is That a Mask? Does Joe Biden have a body double? By value attainment, about the fact that the CIA has perfected the craft of creating masks during the last 30 years, that are so perfect, so realistic, that you would never suspect someone is wearing one of those masks, even in close contact. The YouTube channel Value Attainment shows a clip from a video in which Biden discusses complex questions and in which the color of his skin is in sharp contrast on his face from what it is on his neck. There is a horizontal line separating the two. They were able to zoom to show it's not an optical illusion or due to lighting. This Biden is a dark-skinned man wearing a mask. By the way, that deep state also possesses a secret technology to alter voices. People had reacted to the original video saying it's not the same man as the Joe Biden that we saw at the presidential debate. It is interesting that Vivek Ramaswani stated that it looks like Biden had a lobotomy. In this video is that a mask? Does Joe Biden have a body double? Is explained the fact that the team of value attainment was able to put two and two together because they had interviewed a person said to be a former chief disguise officer by the name of Jonah Mandis, on a podcast, and that her job for the CIA was to create masks. They show a photo in which this CIA woman is wearing such a mask, appearing as another person to Bush, the senior former president, in the late 1980s. Another photo shows her having removed it, to demonstrate to the president, who was stunned, how faultless those masks were. A dark-skinned person appears to have worn a CIA mask in that clip that Value Attainment reproduces, and, Whereas nobody could make sense of what Joe Biden uttered at the presidential debate, it may be a person wearing such a mask that was able to deliver arguments in an intelligent way the next day. He was dynamic and inflamed, whereas Biden was half asleep and slow at the debate. Since Biden had to be helped by Jill, the first lady, to get down a small step, after the presidential debate, when they thought the cameras were not filming anymore, 
Perhaps this was the real Biden. He reacted with bewilderment at what Trump was stating, was incoherent, and did not speak clearly. An internal medicine physician by the name of Sunil Dand has commented about the evidence that Biden may suffer from neurocognitive decline or dementia, but finds it strange that he was better, 24 hours later, when he delivered a speech in which he states I know I am not a young man. Despite the medical possibilities, the use of a mask to pa pass as Biden the next day could be what is going on, and makes more sense. The public should perhaps be alerted to the fact that the false Biden could turn up at the presidential debate in September. Think, who in close contact with the Bidens, who has been on a war path against former President Trump, and has been seen to help Biden, and has dark skin, could be devious enough to have devised this fraud? It is known that doubles have been used since Donald Reagan's presidency. You will also remember that many creators of videos suspected, at the time of a commemoration of 9-11, that Hillary Clinton used a double and even a clone or robotic one. The CIA would certainly employ all the forms of secret technology at their disposal, without scruples. Dr. Stephen Greer lectures on the secret technology that has been suppressed from humanity, and he calls the result of that a lost century. At the same time, in relation to artificial intelligence, we are told there are 22 humanoid robots in use at this time, but we may have been kept uninformed about the development of those that may be half robot and half clone, that look as human as the Silens do in the Battlestar Galactica series that follows the 1980s one. There is evidence for that in an original video with the title, When Clones Malfunction. It seems to have been deleted, but some of its scenes have been reproduced on some other videos, including one that also uses the term malfunction in its title. It showed people in the media, for instance reporters, suddenly collapsing, blinking too much, not at all, or freezing in a particular position in which their face and eyes did not move at all, or in which individuals, looking perfectly human, were caught up acting bizarrely, exactly as if they were clones or robots that malfunctioned. Biden has been filmed freezing in a position when everybody else was dancing. About the oddity of human beings who don't blink, it's been observed that he didn't do so during the whole length of a speech he gave weeks ago. But let's return to the fact that the presidential debate triggered a discussion and exposed the stratagem of the mask. A member of the team of value attainment was asked. Could Donald Trump also have used a double, or have been someone else wearing a mask? My feeling is that former President Trump may have had access to some technology reserved to the presidency during his term. But he does not need to create a deception. Also, it's unlikely someone else could copy his particular style. That Donald Trump is the only person able to oppose the establishment, is what Archangel Michael, other Archangels, and Ascended Masters, declared to me from February 2016, when predictions, concerning his election in November of that year, were given to me. I received some dictations by telepathic communication that were weekly published on videos by Matt Muckley Roy. The former president has been at the receiving end of a tsunami of demonization for personality assassination from the minute he was inaugurated in 2017. But he won the 2016 elections because he was too big to be rigged, and this took the opponent by surprise. President Trump, I have been told, has been incarnated by divine plan for the age of Aquarius. We are in it now as it began at the end of a transition period dated to February 18th, 2018. This dating was given to me by Archie I.A. Faith, Archangel Michael's divine complement. The hierarch of the Aquarian age is the ascended master Saint Germain, pronounced Germain. He is who is referred to as the son of man in Matthew 24, because the man alludes to the zodiacal sign of Aquari Aquarius. Saint Germain stands for freedom and choice, and can endow us with the forgiveness of the seventh ray or violet flame. Archangel Michael has told me that President Trump is an incarnation of Saint Germain. I have his permission to disclose this. The divine intervention that occurred in 2016 is larger than Mega. You can well imagine that President Trump's presidency will have an effect upon the whole world. Some people have no idea what President Trump's policies are because they don't listen to primary sources, a term used in academic circles. In this case it means his speeches versus the political propaganda. The Archangels have activated the third eye in people who reached an attain attainment upon the path of ascension a few years ago. 
All of this boils down to the matter of discernment as well as the fifth ray of truth and perception, that starts with a healing and activation of the third eye chakra. It's to do with the fifth ray and realm of emerald. In the East, people know about illusion or Maya, a veiling of the self and cosmic spirit known as Brahmin, but in the West, the serpent in the allegorical forbidden tree of knowledge continues to deceive mankind in an unsuspected incarnation as the returned Nephilim or fallen ones of Genesis 6, or Antichrist. It is not a person but many and a system. It is the deep state. Christ referred to this Antichrist as the prince of this world. It seems he believed that this adversary was incarnated as he confronted some Pharisees saying your father is the devil and I am from above. You are from below. Below is a reference to the lower astral plane and bottomless pits where Archangel Michael bounded the entities that created corruption in the ancient world due to which a judgment was declared by the Almighty. That first phase of this judgment was the flood. Those details are in the Book of Enoch. The second phase consists in the retaining of those evil powers in the astral realm for a certain period of time, so they could not deceive mankind upon the physical realm after the flood. The third phase, phase is one in which the evil ones are being tested and judged, as well as being removed. It is parallel to the harvest in the New Testament. If you understand this, you can interpret the book of Revelation, chapters 12 and 20 in the right way, and understand what is going on politically in the world. In the mid-60s, Robert Charu, a French journalist and bestseller, exposed the existence of what he called a conspiracy of silence and shadow government that pulls the strings of the nations and their own governments. It's the same concept as that of the deep state. On the basis of an alternative translation for the verb bara in Genesis 1 verse 1, he believed that Genesis states that earth was recreated, not created. It mentions a watery deep as Tihom and that darkness was upon the face of the deep. This abyss was dark in the sense of evil, and in the Babylonian legend, it is the demon Tiamat. Marduk, the deity equivalent to Archangel Michael, entered into conflict with this demon. This ties in with the story told in the Summit Lighthouse that Lord Sanat Kumara volunteered to save the ancient earth, Tiamat, because it was full of evil and due to be destroyed. We can say that Tiamat is the ancient name for Earth and it was terraformed during the Jurassic period, or perhaps only 18 million years ago, as H.P. Blavatsky was told by the masters she communicated with, that this Lord of the Flame, Sanat Kumara, the Logos of the Earth, took control of the occult evolution of mankind this long ago. It seems that a cosmic battle was necessary to terraform Tiamat. But Tiamat is not another world in space, in the sense of Zakaria Sitching's adaptation of the Sumero-Babylonian legend, and the terraforming of Tiamat can be added to the theories for the extinction of the dinosaurs. Sanat Kumara removed the matrix for those forms of life. The battle that is taking place between good and evil in our time is rooted in the fact that the entities that existed upon Tiamat had to be allowed to incarnate upon the terraformed world. They did so among human souls during the antediluvian era. They created the Atlantean One but caused its downfall and perished in the cataclysms, then their spirits were retained in bottomless pits to prevent them from deceiving mankind, and some time before Christ, were allowed to return in human bodies, for the consummation of their judgment. The connection of these entities with the Nephilim of Genesis 6 is explained in details in my exegesis in my work and it is available as a PDF on academia.edu. With the title of Beyond the Veil of the Lost Holy Grail and Ancient Church of Avalon founded by Joseph of Arimathea in 37 AD. The sons of God were initiators of light with a mission to create the fifth root race. The sons of God are the divine origin of present mankind. The concept is about a type of human being, not skin color. They were initiators who descended from higher dimensions and are called so because they did not have human parents. Adam did not either, and for that reason was represented as created by God. Adam epitomizes the sons of God and they were self-born. They were not born of human parents but appeared. Some initiators descended among the Atlanteans to teach and assist them. A collective of entities, mentioned in the book of Revelation as the Satanic Red Dragon, were allowed to incarnate in the progeny of the marriages mentioned in Genesis 6, but in disobedience, 
these offspring misused the powers they genetically inherited from their fathers called the sons of God. In the reset after the flood and cataclysms, the souls of mankind reincarnated into bodies, the size and longevity of which was reduced by karma and to avoid a repeat of the Atlantean misuse of psychic powers that caused the project of ascension to have to be aborted. The forces of the light are ensuring a golden age will eventually be created, and galactic beings, who are due to walk among us in a near future, will assist mankind to rise upon the ladder of the dimensions in consciousness as well as shift upon a higher dimension in physicality. The Archangels are restricted in their mission to protect mankind, due to the fact that people have free will. We need to give them authority to intervene by our prayers, decrees, invocations and mantras. I have composed some decrees in verses and they rhyme. Here is a decree for the seventh ray. Hail Saint Germain, hierarch of this age and son of man who has the means by divine plan to make America great again. Blaze, O oh blaze your violet flame, hurl it now in God's own name. With justice, Portia, rule the land. In freedom's name, take your command. Expose the steel its cause and core, let it now be no more. With violet flame, O oh great master, keep us safe from disaster. Safeguard all rights, preserve freedom. Crown our minds with your wisdom. O Zadkiel, great archangel with violet fire, do now descend. Transmute evil, transform the land. With violet fire that never fails, transmute all veils. Radiant spiral violet flame, remove discord, dispel all blame. To truth and love we bow. Sweep all the earth by Christ's command. Clear the air, the sea, the land. We pray that all will understand it's time for them to take a stand. So may you take us by the hand. With you we know we can ascend. We accept this done today. We accept it done God's way. This is done to stay. <laughs>